Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer. Welcome back to Founder's Fortune. This is episode number six. We're into early fall, preparing for the winter. Food-wise, we're already good. And now it's going to be mostly about gathering some uh, um, supplies as much as we can so that we have things to do throughout the winter that I now do believe that we're in good shape for. Uh, so as we continue on with our research, the next tier of upgrades are all waiting for us, but writing is still there, something that I very much could use, but don't necessarily need until we get to the stone weapons, though I do think it does come with some, well, the large bookshelf. I, I don't think that's actually gonna provide me any boost right now until I get to the stone weapons. If that's what I wanna do next, then I need to do writing first. Uh, architecture, furniture, both going to matter. Tree stop chair, natural. Let's see, one minute. Torch on wall. Da, 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 da. Wooden floors, tile walls, brick fortifications could be uh, definitely a good thing. So I actually do think stone weapons might be the next thing. I mean, brewery sounds good. Uh, we can get wheat, pumpkins going uh, for next year. But that's going to be post winter anyway, so we're going to have to wait till the spring to be able to get into any of that. So I do think uh, writing and stone weapons are next, and then the brewery can be done well before the end of winter. Uh, Robert Frederica is still working on farming, but Robert, we've started to turn his attention away a little bit. Uh, Maria has nothing to do. Well, now you do. But we. Uh, Give you a moment. Enjoy yourself. Your thoughts still not there. Can we get to uh, you know happy times for resting? No. Fine. Go back to work. Uh, now that we have the well, we should start seeing uh, yields rising. It's not just going to be one potato or one tomato every time. We're going to start seeing two or even three. Uh, more frequently and that will make a big difference for us on the long term as this quantity of four sets of fields should see us through at least a sixth character it looks like as we've quickly uh, picked up our values here okay so Maria doing research Moritz uh, getting some food Wood totals are pretty good. And we have, where is she at? Karina, gathering some iron ore. So getting into this whole brand new area for us. And let's speed things up a little bit as we move forward. So we have a few healing plants. Nothing cultivated, it's all wild. That's fine, illness, medicine. We're going to start getting into that, but creation-wise, I don't know if we have what we need. We're just trying to get things. Uh, looks like our stone pickaxe is ready. That should be right here. There we go. Stone pickaxe. There's an upgrade. So now we have two wooden tools that are no longer necessary. Traders arrived. I don't really have anything for them at this time. Let's get back to this for a moment. Uh, stone swords. Haven't unlocked that. Uh, we've done everything through here except for one uh, wooden watering can still necessary. So actually we've only got one. I think Frederica the only one who has it right now. Robert doesn't. Uh, we could provide that for him relatively soon. And then, yeah, clothing. Looks like actually our first thing is, no, no, it's not, not done, not done. Uh, you need 60 cotton total, but you can get 30 is enough. We have 30 cotton, so we can actually start on those clothing upgrades. I don't know what can go in here. Actually, it looks like it's just random decoration. Our one little table is definitely not going to be sufficient, but we're going to need a whole new housing area and completely redo this as just storage and workshop uh, before really doing much more because the bedrooms are quite small. 
So I think each of them are going to need a larger house back here. Uh, probably the same space. And we can build it up as six. Actually, it's going to need more space, won't it? Five by five is not going to be big enough. Well, it could be wider this way. I don't think we're there just yet, but we will be there soon. Why do you slow down? Did I do that? Additional storage, of course. Uh, you know, we've maxed out wood. Why don't we add another wood stockpile? I think we could definitely use another crystal stockpile. Did you really just get yourself stuck in there? Oh my goodness. Uh, let's move this. Again, there we go. And we'll put it right where it's at, I guess. We'll leave that space so you can get in there. We're gonna have to start spreading our storage out into other areas and neatly packed in to here. Not going so great for us. Uh, cotton stockpile. Definitely. Let's let's put a cut stockpile in here, uh, especially if we're going to be building or tailoring some clothing. Uh, a small coin storage is going to be useful. We're going to need this as well here, and in fact, that's what we're working on right now, isn't it? The writing. Where, let's see, scrolls, max is zero, so we need this. We absolutely need this. And that's expensive. And wow, look how fast this storage space is going. One space is all that we have left in there already. Very much a reason to uh, move on in the near future. These are all aesthetics. Don't seem to serve any real purpose, though the beer barrel storage does, but it looks like it is too wide. So that means we do have room for one more thing, and I would think that is our small saver coins, but we are short by two iron ore. Uh, but the, the crystal. <laughs> if it's, but that's okay. We'll uh, put this out here. Okay. Karina, we're going to keep an eye on your work for a moment as you run away, not collecting anything. Karina, mm -hmm. what's going on? Hungry? Tired? Huh? <laughs> Typical. Yeah, it is. It's typical. People get hungry. People get tired. It happens. I'm criticizing her. <laughs> I'm actually agreeing with her. Alrighty then. So uh, we still have this sleeping spot. Uh, cotton is at 31. Let's do something about this. Uh, can I do? Can I do this while you're laying here? I don't think I can. It's not going to let me do it while they're laying there. We'll have to wait for them to wake up. Rock by baby on the treetop. Yeah, yeah, hurry up, Robert. Recover, recover. Seriously, Karina? What's your problem? 
Yep. Okay, you can get back to work now, Robert. Thank you, thank you. That's better. Yep, we're gonna get fancier with our, our next construction and definitely larger. Um, and we're definitely gonna go with some rooms. I am tempted to build a two-story. Actually, I'm quite tempted to give it a shot, see if we can uh, do it successfully. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Much bigger rooms for each individual. Uh, Karina, how are we looking now? Iron ore, 12. Excellent. Let it let us now add in our small safe for coins because we're going to need them and that completely fills that storage space. I think this was a nice little addition. Very efficient in terms of space and it gives us what we need. Now the raw food storage though, oh, we're nearly full. Uh, we are very nearly full. That is one thing I don't want to stop, food storage. So I think that means we need more raw food storage. Let's put this here. Is it? Oh, it's blocked by two things. Oh, somebody's having a lazy day. It's Karina. We will get this storage space built here in a moment. Let's move this. Let's move this as well, except for I need to turn you. There you go. Bed's already there. Let's get the simple wooden bed. Flip that around, there we go. Now we can also put in the uh, food storage. There we go. Sorry to move your rooms around like this, guys, but it's needed. It's very much needed. Out of crystals. Wonder if I should give a pick to uh, Maria. If I give a pick to... Wow. We are about to get to that point where we're going to have our sixth colonist. That's awfully early, but we have the food for it. Uh, technically, we have six rooms for it. <laughs> technically. That would definitely lead to that uh, expansion project. Good winter project. Building during winter. Right? That makes a lot of sense. No, not so much. Uh, who was hurt? It was Karina, wasn't it? She's good now. She's good. Her leg is better. Okay, that's already been built. These have all been built. And this is Robert's room. Robert, take ownership. Excellent. Finally. Finally, everybody has their own bed. Actual bed. Not just a sleeping spot on the ground. Oh, we got three cotton back. How many cotton is it in the first place? Ten. So we lose 70%. Research is nearly done. That is just step one of a two-part. Outside of some lights, I think we have a lot of the things we need. Hmm, comfy armchairs. Okay, simple wooden chair. Simple wooden chair. Let's add in another chair in here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Karina. Oh yes, there's nothing better and being able to sleep late. Never liked this piece of furniture. What, the ground? 
<laughs> Fireplace. Oh man. Get a dresser in her house. Could do that kind of stuff soon. Uh, da, da, tables. There are definitely better tables than what we have. Okay, we've gone through storage. Uh, the weapon display case is not necessary. Lots of decorations. Full on statues, big things now. With tremendous beauty. Cool stuff. We're not into that cool stuff yet. Uh, rugs. Same thing, same thing. So I do think that next project is definitely going to be building. Ooh, hello, hello. A lot of harvesting to do. You can also see we are no longer planting as it is the last day of fall. Frederica and Robert, plenty of harvesting to do. Three potatoes, love that. Quantity has gone up considerably. Max is now 260. Tomatoes are dropping down a bit. We still have 51. We're definitely keep it up on the food front. They're very prepared for winter. Wood is good, 240. I think I can get uh, Moritz doing something. What to do, Moritz? Yeah, Moritz is just sitting around. Let's, well. Uh, there is some projects. Let's. Make some tools. You're not the craftsman, but... Actually, Robert. Robert's the craftsman, and Robert is ready to... You have a place to store tools, don't you, Robert? You do now. <laughs> and it's still not done. It's being done right now. Uh, we do have that extra wooden sword. That is for Maria. Maria. You don't get ownership. That's just a beauty thing. Uh, let's take that wooden sword. There we go. That gives everyone some type of weapon. Anyone just got ready for a fight. And we get to get back to Robert. Your job, you are not a farmer anymore. We can promote you though. That was your big wish. That is done. Nice big satisfaction points there. That is also everyone ready for a promotion, meaning new colonists coming soon. I think I need to get started on those new rooms. Uh, we're gonna change your job back to a craftsman for the winter. Frederica, though, will stay on as the farmer, uh, as in she can do a lot of our cooking. Wow, hello, migrant. They've already arrived. Uh, Maria, what you done eating here? There you go. Go uh, accept our new migrant. Just like you, he might be flawed, but we are not sending him away. Yeah. Wilhelm? Wilhelm Kula? What can you do for us? You're a for. Why is every new one a forester? Uh, all that is missing on a regular basis is a doctor. Uh, so maybe we will turn you into that. You look like a... A doctor for a small village like this, a wise old man, right? He is a fast learner, allergic to apples, not a big deal here. He is an overeater, which I'm not a fan of. What can we do to get rid of the overeater? Just two points uh, to remove that one. That's not bad. That's not bad. 
Uh, he's got food, but he doesn't have anything else, and he wants to insult Moritz right off the bat. Uh, and again, I have no place for you. Let's put you in a sleeping bag for now. Uh, here in the middle of this room. I'm not going to give you anyone else's room. Those are their rooms. So I think it's time we set up some construction, but the day is nearly over. Frederica, what are you doing? You need to go harvest some potatoes. I know we have lots and lots of food, but no potato will be left unharvested. No, sir. No, ma'am. I don't think so. Look at that. Nine potatoes. So what would have happened without those nine potatoes? By the way, what an invention, this well, this watering. Yeah, you can't do much with the others. You can go back to bed. Go ahead. Go sleep. Sleep it off. Or, or harvest some potatoes. <laughs> as they're done. Now. As the day is so nearly done. Stockpile full. What? How about you eat? Uh, go ahead and eat. I think you could harvest those potatoes. Robert? Robert? What's up? Why don't you eat as well? Okay, okay, almost there. Cook some food. Yeah, one more, one more. Quickly now, quickly, harvest, harvest. You can do it. It's almost time. It's almost time. Come on, I want 100% here. I'm going OCD in this moment, but I care. I care. It matters. There it is. We are completely full of food, a 300 quantity, essentially. I like it. I like it. We are more than ready. We said we need 100. Then we added another colonist just now. That makes 120. But we are more than double that. Now, they all have new needs. We'll worry about those in a little bit. I think what we need to start with... We need to start with is it is time for some new building projects massively. We have the wood already. Stone is a little light, iron ore is a little light. It might take a focus in that direction, but we just got uh, Karina getting us a whole bunch of crystals. And I do think it is time we start a new structure. Now, I didn't mess with two-story early on because there are some glitches. There's some minor bugs to do with it uh, but maybe that was just a one-time thing and two-story very much is a possibility let's just hope that it works out hello winter you're here time for some winter projects uh we don't need any farming anymore how did we do with cotton oh man 29 29 cotton i dropped the ball on that one we don't have any cotton for any of these projects do we yeah, the minimum is 30, so we won't have any of the clothing till next year, which definitely means building projects it is. These are done. Coin storage. Storage for scrolls. Cotton stockpile. Alright, uh, what can we do? What can we do? Well, let's start with floors. And maybe a little pause here. Uh, we're gonna we're moving up. We're not going with the straw floor this time, or even the. Well, it's possible we might go with a neat wooden floor. There's no beauty difference. This is all aesthetic. Parquet. That's a nice little floor. Scales pattern. That's cotton. We don't have the cotton for this, so the parquet. Kind of leaning towards that right now. Or we go with stone. How much stone do we have? Not enough. 
Stone pads. So much more comfortable. Doesn't say that it speeds them up, though, does it? The rough stone floor is nice. The simple stone floor is cheaper. I think we need to go with the simple one for now. And then we need to make a decision. These are 5x5. Five five. Uh, the simple thing would be to expand to a 7x7, seven seven, keep the odd number for the door. But I don't know if 7x7 seven is going to be enough. And we're going to start from back here. Can I go this far out? I can. Okay. Starting from here. So I want to go 7 wide. I can't see. Zoom in a little. There we go. 3, 6, 7. There we go. 4. That's 7. That's already more than what I have. Yeah, so maybe that's pretty big. <laughs> that is pretty big. I'm kind of thinking 8 by 7. Big rooms. That's, that's Those are massive rooms, aren't they? They don't need to be that big. Keep them at five. Seven by five? Eight by five? Maybe that's that's the way to go. Eight by five. We'll do stone on the bottom floor, or we'll do wood on the top floor. And now we need <clears throat> a lot more than this, don't we? Because that's it. We just used almost all the stone we have. Uh, Karina needs a partner. She needs a partner. So let's get you to work on gathering some stone. You're not going to become a miner, though. Or maybe we can. Writing unlocked. There we go. Go ahead and become a miner. Why'd you go to crystals? I told you to mine stone. Please, mine stone. Okay. We've laid the foundation for a single room to start. <laughs> it is a start. Uh, I think Moritz. Moritz is going to have to eat something. Maria grabbing crystals for herself. Uh, I need to assign my next research objective for her now that writing is done. I'll have to take a look at the bookshelves. case the wrong one. No, that was storage, right? Storage self for scrolls. Yes. I think that was an alternative way to uh, unlock it. Or not. There's the large bookshelf. Oh. Research scroll stand. Okay, there's the stand. 20 iron ore. We have 16. But again, I don't have much of a place to put anything right now. We need to really work on what we have here. Simple stone walls. No, we're definitely not onto this. Strength a thing. Five, that's six. Strength is seven. Fences are going to be handy. Time to really start building our, our defenses up.
Four iron ore and medicine. Go away. They're gonna... Uh, I thought they were gonna attack before long. I didn't think they were gonna attack right now. Uh, I don't have a weapon for Wilhelm yet. Uh, it's not a good thing. There's six of us. Three are armed with swords, two are armed with stone tools. Uh, Wilhelm could pick up a tool if I could construct uh, a tool chest really quick for him. But the Tiki Goblins are going to attack. They are fast and do not seem to come in peace. Arm the colonists so they may defend their home once again. Where is this group? Ooh, it's a big group too. And they're already coming. They're already coming. There's at least three of them on the way. Yeah, nobody else out ahead of them. Looks like just three are attacking. That's good. Six on three. All right. Okay, combat mode. Grab everyone. Combat mode, everybody should be coming to grab that. Uh, see, Phil Hum is not. Uh, Phil Hum, take ownership. Can we very, very quickly build you a tool rack <laughs> in the most awkward of places? Uh, about here. Can I take him off combat mode? No, I need everybody else ready. So, Wilhelm. Go here. Everybody else should be Karina. Go here. And Moritz. Go here. I want everybody. There we go. I think Robert, Frederica, Maria. Here, let's uh, here we go. Our first fight. Our first fight. One of them has is that a bow? One of them is unarmed. Okay, we got the one with the club down and quick. Uh, I'm gonna let them scatter. Yep. Yeah. Get two of you to fight this guy who is unarmed. Oh, Wilhelm's down, he's unarmed. He took an arrow right in the shoulder. He's hurt, Robert's hurt slightly, Maria's hurt slightly. Frederica's hurt slightly, but otherwise, uh, looks like we have successfully knocked these guys out. Uh, let's see if there's any... We, do we want to kill them? I'm assuming this is good for us if we kill them, right? Yeah. Ooh, remove equipment. I like that idea. That's the unarmed one. Start with removing their equipment. Uh, Wilhelm, you're supposed to be the doctor. Bleeding wounds. We need to uh, help you out with that. Karina. Uh, we'll go with Maria. We don't always need a scholar. Uh, put you on doctor. And then Karina. Carry him to bed. No, 
that one's dead. Two dead. Yep. And there we go. Combat mode is off. We did it! We survived our first fight. I don't know if you guys want to be standing next to this or not. Want to fight? Well rested. They're happy. Nearly ready to level up. Yeah. All right, Wilhelm. Uh, what can we do here? Your health is deteriorating. We need to uh, treat it. It's Maria who needs to do something. Maria, where are you? Constructing. No, that's uh. Oh, that's not good. We don't have any way to uh, treat Wilhelm right now, and his health is slowly deteriorating. Uh, he'll stop bleeding out in 20 seconds, that's good. Uh, he should not die in that time. Karina hurt her arm. Forty-three minute injury. Good job. Really? I did place a door on here. Uh, pause. Pause. I did assign a door. I swear, I assigned a door. There you go. Really? Federica, you're gonna mm -hmm. not construct the door? There we go. Okay, there's a single room. Now you guys can get out of there. Green is the only one working right now. Wilhelm, how are how we doing? How are we doing? Uh, his health is down to 25%, but he is now uh, nearly ready to regain consciousness, and he is resting in bed. He'll be fine. Uh, Maria and Robert will be fine. Frederica will be fine. So, excellent! First room is just about ready. Well, it's ready to be inhabited. Uh, we just need to start shifting things over there. But that's going to do it for this episode. I'm Decathlon Gamer. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to hit that like button, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye for now.